513 right now. I'm trying to connect the dots when we make the news make sense. Starting next year, we get more power in Washington. That's right, North Carolina getting another seat in Congress. This, as some states like New York, lost a seat. It's all thanks to that 2020 census form you filled out last year. North Carolina is getting another member of Congress, but what part of the state will that person represent? That is the million-dollar question. Let's connect the dots. According to census data, North Carolina gained one million new residents over the last decade. Wake and Mecklenburg County are already among the most populated counties, and they keep growing. Research shows in a five-year span, more than half of North Carolina's growth occurred in Wake, Mecklenburg, and Durham counties. That's why most experts think the new congressional seat will represent one of those areas. The census is expected to release all data in August. That will give leaders a better idea of exact populations and how to redraw district lines. North Carolina's newest member of Congress will be elected in 2022. And that is Connecting the Dots. Also keep in mind, census data has a big impact uh, uh, in other ways. It helps determine how much federal money we get things for, like, roads, schools, public works projects, that sort of thing. So make sure you always fill out your census form, Carolyn.